In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Thanks be to God. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 16 through to 21. No one, when he has lit a lamp, covers it with a vessel, or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand, that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is secret that will not be revealed, nor anything hidden that will not be known and come to light. Therefore take heed how you hear. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and whoever does not have, even what he seems to have, will be taken from him. Then his mother and brothers came to him and could not approach because of the crowd. And it was told him by some who said, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, desiring to see you. But he answered and said to them, My mother and my brothers are these who hear the word of God and do it. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Open our eyes and our ears to your words that we can truly hear and understand. In the scripture reading from St. Luke today, there are, it's in two sections you may notice. The first part is take care how you hear. This is always a problem with many of us, especially in this world. Everything is hurry, hurry, <clears throat> hurry and bustle everywhere. You don't really have time, or it appears that way, to stop and listen. And as they say in that little saying, and smell the roses and appreciate it. Jesus is telling us here that we need to take care how we hear, how we hear his words and his teachings and to understand them. And then the next part, this little subhang, it says, Jesus, true kinsman. And of course, we read here how his mother and his brothers came to to see him, but because of the crowd, he couldn't get anywhere near Jesus. Someone told him that they were outside waiting to see him. And an interesting reply from Jesus, he answered and said to them, My mother and my brothers are these who hear the word of God and do it. If we hear the word of God and do it, if we obey Jesus' teachings, then we can truly be called Jesus' kinsmen. The key, of course, is not just hearing, but doing what he teaches us to do. Yes, it's so important for us to remember this. Be careful how you hear what you hear. Satan does not want us to hear properly, so we'll have distractions, whatever it may be. Whether it's the television or whether it's the family all around you, cars beeping their horns, the radio going in the background, these are distractions. We must be careful to try and remove those distractions. Go somewhere quiet where you can consume the word of God and truly understand. And of course, as I said in the second section, 
It is those who hear the word of God and do it. It's not just hearing. We hear lots of things, but don't always take them in. But that's the important thing here. We hear the word of God. We put it into practice. So important for us to do this. Yes, so important. I urge you all, take yourself to a quiet area, read the scriptures, and take it in. Say a prayer to the Holy Spirit to help you to remove the distractions so that you can truly feed on the Word of God. And then do it. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.